why has silver premiums crashed lately? Uh, why have they come down so hard in the recent uh, last couple weeks? Silver premiums have come way, way down. Uh, what's going on? Um, I heard a comment in one of, the uh, one of my videos about supply and demand. Well, I'm not seeing it that way. There is a supply, a lot of supply right now. And, um, but the demand, there's still a lot of demand. I'm getting people in every day. Uh, I haven't seen much of a change for people coming in to buy silver. But what I have seen is a lot more people selling it. Um, I think those are weak hands. I think because the price has moved a couple bucks, you know, went up a couple dollars, that uh, it's kind of like a panic sell and they're just, you know, these guys that have weak hands. That's a term used in trading or whatever. Uh, we're not necessarily trading here. This is not a trading channel and I'm not an economic expert, but to me, it looks like the term weak hands. Uh, moved up, they have fear, they said, let me get out. Uh, I got too much invested, whatever they think. They can't afford to hold on to it, whatever. Whatever the reason is, they're selling it. But the demand is right there. Um, and these premiums have come way down. And most of these, pr the premiums are determined really by these large bullion houses. Uh, Atmex, um, SD Bullion, you know, the wholesale ones. Like I'm looking at one of my uh, distributors right now. And I'm looking at the premiums on some of this stuff. And like Silver Eagles, they've come way down. I mean, I could buy Silver Eagles right now for $5 a spot. BU, BU ones and tubes. Uh, same thing with 90% silver coins. The premiums come way down. I mean, there was a point where it was getting really nutty, and I kept t warning people about the premiums on Silver Eagles. It was just ridiculous. I mean, you know, so, some shops are selling for 20 bucks over spot, and people were buying it. I mean, I'm one of the more reasonable dealers. I don't like to gouge, gouge people. I'm not trying to get rich off of selling bullion, but, uh, you know, I mean, it was a point where I was at $12 above spot on this stuff, and that was like a great deal. And I couldn't keep it in stock because all the other shops were at 15 or 20 And I was just laughing. It was just ridiculous. You know, why would you pay that much of a premium over, over spot? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you know it's going to come back down. There's no way it's going to stay like that. So the premiums, what's going on? Well... Like I said, the weak hands for sure. The demand is still there. Um, we may see another uptick on the premiums. Uh, the local shops have no control over this. We don't have anything to do with it. And uh, the big boys are the ones that are making the rules when it comes to premiums. So we'll see what happens down the road. But this is why I always stress, try to buy silver bullion as close to spot as possible. Don't pay very large premiums if you can avoid it. It just doesn't make any sense. You know, you, if you're a silver stacker, you're trying to accumulate as much silver as possible. Why pay large premiums? I mean, I, I, honestly, me, I'd rather not buy at all if I have to pay outrageous premiums. I mean, I'm not doing it, you know. And uh, even for the shop, my shop, you know, I need inventory, obviously, to sell to make money. And if I don't have any inventory... You know, I can't make anything, but I'm not going to go to one of these distributor sites and pay insane premiums and then have to pass that on to, to the customers to make any money. I mean, I'm getting screwed and so are the customers. And I, you know, these uh, big bullion houses, they're the ones that are making a lot of money off of it, you know, and they're doing, they're dealing in such large volumes. I'm sure they're, they're getting it at a much, much you know, lower rate than I could get or you could get. So avoid the big premiums. Uh, now's probably a great time to buy, I'll be honest with you. The price of silver came down yesterday a little bit. Right now it's like twenty four seventy five an ounce. Um, if the premiums are so low right now, there's shops blowing out stuff. Some of them are selling it at, you know, on generic silver rounds, they're selling them at a dollar fifty two bucks above spot. Uh, I think it's a good time to buy. This is just my opinion, you know. I mean, if somebody comes in today and dumps a lot of silver on me, uh, a customer off the street, I'm thrilled, you know, because I'm going to pay a little less than, than that so I could obviously make a profit on it. 
But you know, our profit margin is very, very low on silver or gold bullion. I mean, it's it's tiny. You know, I'm lucky if I make fifty cents to a dollar per ounce on silver. So there's not much profit. If I had to rely just on that to make a living, I would have been out of business a long time ago. So I think we might see another uptick in the price. Uh, silver, I don't know that for sure. I think long term, it's great. And I would take advantage of the low premiums right now. If you're a silver stacker, a gold stacker, gold, gold premiums have come down a little bit, but uh, not, as, not as hard as uh, silver. But if you're, you're, you're a believer in the silver, if you're, if you're a believer in silver for the future, buy, you know, take advantage of it right now. I mean, these premiums are back to where it was probably pre-COVID. Uh, so I would say now's a great time to look into it. And uh, if you're in my area, come by. We're in the North, Northeast Ohio area. Come by and see what I got or just deal with your local coin shops. And... Uh, We'll talk more about it in the next couple of days and I'll give you an update on what I'm seeing. So have a great day.